Ladies and gentlemen, winter is coming to a galaxy far, far away. So, I was at work, virtually doing my work, and I was talking to one of the co-workers, and, I, and we were talking about this commercial during the Super Bowl re regarding Peter Dinklage and Morgan Freeman, and Peter Dinklage rapping, yeah, and I kept referencing Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones because that's who he plays. And then I hear this. Then I go on my Twitter after work. And then I see, oh, God. Wow. Talk about coincidence. The Game of Thrones creators of the TV series, at least, David Benoff and D.B. Weiss, are going to write and produce a new series of Star Wars films. This is what the article says. It was announced today that Benoff and Weiss... Creators of the smash hit Emmy award winning television series Game of Thrones will write and produce a new series of Star Wars films. These new films will be separate from both the episodic Sk Skywalker saga and the recently announced trilogy being developed by Ryan Johnson, writer and director of The Last Jedi. Kathleen Kennedy commented, saying this David and Dan are some of the best storytellers working today. Their command of complex characters, depth of story, and riches of mythology will break new ground and boldly push Star Wars in ways I find incredibly exciting. So that's her st statement. They said, Ben Off and Weiss said in a joint statement saying this, In the summer of 1977, we traveled to a galaxy far, far away, and we've been dreaming of it ever since. We are honored by this opportunity, a little terrified by the responsibility, and so excited to get started as soon as the final season of Game of Thrones is complete. Okay. And no release date has been set for the new films, and there have, quote, thankfully, been no sightings of White Walkers around Lucasfilm. No, no. There are a bunch of pissed off Star Wars fans regarding what happened in The Last Jedi that's angered them walking around with Lucasfilms. I had to say it. Anyways. So, yeah. That's all the details we got. Hearing that out of everybody I was suspecting they would probably hire, I didn't think they would hire these two TV guys to make a series, to write a series of Star Wars films. We have unknown directors at this time. We don't know if they're going to be directing as well. That might happen later or not. But it was a little surprising to hear that, yeah, we're, we're getting these guys on board. Which, like I said, it's surprising because, you know, the, the, the show, Game, Game of Thrones, it's violent, bloody. Like, I believe there was the Red Wedding incident that everyone liked to talk about. Yeah... And there is incest, blood, violence, politics, attempted child murdering, nudity, brutal deaths, and huge epic battles of grand scales in a medieval-like fantasy. When I had heard this, I was like, so are they going to go all out like they do on Game of Thrones? Well, they have to stay, stick to the source material. But are they going to go all out, or are they not going to do, be restricted creatively? I don't know how this is going to work. Like, if they go all out, then maybe it has a chance to actually be a huge refreshing moment for Star Wars, because we either, because let's see, we either get um, the type of, the repeat of episode 4 and parts of the, new tri of the old trilogy and the prequel trilogy, uh, we also got, um, come up with some innovative concepts that were from Legends, or, or, you know, do something that will piss fans off and squander big opportunities like Kylo Ren and Rey teaming up at the end of the film, which would have been a very freaking awesome if they ended it right there, had those two team up, and, and try to bring their own system of order to the galaxy. That actually would have been a ballsy move. And... Yeah, now we don't know what episode 9 is going to be like, but yeah, I've talked about enough of that stuff a lot. So, okay, we have those, and then I realized something. We have so many Star Wars movies in production. We got the trilogy coming from Ryan Johnson. He's set to write and direct the first one, and then afterwards he's going to go off, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be producer. And they never say it was going to be a trilogy of films by the Game of Thrones creators, it says it's going to be a series of Star Wars films. So how many are there exactly to be? We don't know. What I do know is it's going to be separate from Ryan Johnson. 
We got a Han Solo movie coming, which I will talk about soon. I wanted to talk about this, but then I was going to originally talk about the Solo movie trailer, but then this dropped. We got Episode 9. We got the rumored films of Kenobi and a Bounty Hunter movie. And that's not including the new animated series they're planning to make, the comics, novels, the Disney streaming exclusive live action Star Wars series, and the video games that will most likely fail if EA gets their way. By the way, microtransactions are returning to Battlefront 2, so be ready for that. So, I'm curious to know, where will this do? Will they go Game of Thrones style on this and break the PG-13 norm? Well, I don't know if they'll do that because this is Disney we're talking about. Now, I know people were saying, like, but Disney doesn't control Star Wars. You mean to tell me in a franchise that made people suspect it, that made people at the Disney Corporation that George Lucas has commented saying Disney does have control over Star Wars and are using the prequels as, as an excuse to control it, whereas Marvel, they can just do whatever the hell they want with some key restrictions, but not the, not the creatively cr restrictive ones. So, yeah, um, and the fact that I keep seeing more and more Legends material being shoved into the old, to the new canon, like, like to say, oh, uh, well, you see, this is a completely new, new idea, we're just stealing ideas from Legends, including a certain thing that happened in Episode 8, which I might talk about one day, probably before the Blu-ray DVD comes out because it needs to be said. To those who don't know. Um, yeah. The fact that Disney said, hey, get these guys from Game of Thrones. They'll probably do well. That was like, really? You're getting the guys who made Game of Thrones on TV to make your versions of Star Wars. Yeah, that's a little surprising. Now, a lot of people are wondering, what's this movie going to be about? Well, like I said, we don't know yet, other than it's going to be separate from Ryan Johnson's trilogy. Ryan Johnson had came out and said that it's not going to be the Old Republic era. So, considering how more darker and more malevolent the environment of the Old Republic era was, and very bloody crusade-like with all the religious holy wars, aka Jedi and Sith, is that going to be it? Like... I'd be all for it. Like, I'll be all for it if they bring back the Old Republic into the new canon. And especially if the Game of Thrones creators are allowed to go all out with this. Like, I would be alright if they bring back Revan and the deconstructor of Star Wars Universe, Kreia. Because, for God's sake, she needs to be put in there. I might talk about her one day, but I think so, but someone already beat me to that, and even then I couldn't go into the huge analytical explanation of why she's the great why she's an awesome character. So yeah. But the fact that this is happening is surprising. And so are they is it gonna take place like if they do go old Republic era, that could be interesting. It could delve deep into the philosophical aspects of the Force, the religions of the Jedi and Sith, especially since there would be a time where the Sith were in numbers. And I would love Kreia and Revan kind of interacting off of each other. Heck, we could probably go Mandalorian Wars if we wanted to. Though I would say it probably would have been better if they made a TV series, because if they made an animated TV series exclusive on Netflix or any streaming service that provides the, without the key restrictions of standards and practices of television, then if an actor was to say something happened, they could just replace the voice actor and try to mimic the voice at best they could. Whereas the, we have a do live action, a physical actor. If something happens to that actor, they have to find another one and that wouldn't make any sense to anybody unless they explain in a complicated manner. Like... He had to get a facial reconstruction. Yeah, that's the only way I see that working. But uh, even then, like even then, I don't think that would work. So, the fact that this is happening, like I said, is a bold move. And I'm hoping, hoping they're allowed to go all out. Now, I kept hearing, once again, people complaining, saying, Kathleen Kennedy is a hypocrite. She just hired more dudes to work on the Star Wars movies, even though she advocated for women to be the directors in charge. Okay, um... 
this is going into political matters and political beliefs, but I'm just going to say it. Who's to say Kathleen Kennedy is trying to do that, but she's being forced by Disney not to? Like, how long did people start advocating for more black people to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? And then when Black Panther happened, everyone's calling it an important cultural phenomenon? Or when DC beat them first when they got a woman to direct star- to direct a Wonder Woman movie? Or at least any comic book movie? Yeah... Like, I get that there are not as many well-known women making big, big-budgeted movies, but I'm looking at this as a movie. Unless they're trying to tell us something that referenced the real world, then that would be something else. And I mean actually something, not the Emoji movie where they say they're trying to put politics into this, even though it makes no sense and it never was shown. And I did not want to talk about that horrible piece of garbage whatsoever. Speaking of which, since this is going to be a series of films, I was wondering, are they going to focus on a series of characters or a small group of characters who are the main characters? Like, considering how Game of Thrones' this style is, because Jar Jar R. Martin made, wrote the stories and they adapted it, and it tends to blur the line of what is good and quote, what is quote, good and evil and who the actual main characters are. Are they going to do that like they do in Game of Thrones? Or are they just going to... Are they just going to go ahead and uh, just play it safe like Disney likes to do? Because I'll be all for if they allow to go all out. But if they try and play the safe card because Disney does not want a rated R style movie in their portfolio of movies... That's going to be very missed opportunity even more so than what Last Jedi presented us regarding Rey and Kylo Ren teaming up at the end when she joins up with him. <sighs> Such a missed opportunity right there. Yeah, so... I'm really curious um, how this is going to all go. But at the same time, the fact that there are so many Star Wars movies in production... And some are rumored, and some, and that's not counting the TV shows, and the novels, and the comics. Yeah, I think people are going to start saying Star Wars is starting to get a little oversaturated. And by little, I mean greatly. Like, in the last year, let's see, you got fans writing over Battlefront 2's microtransaction loot box bullshit. You got fans writing over The Last Jedi, and now to the point that they want to decanonize it. So eventually you want to reboot... The new canon, which rebooted Legends, which, yeah, that, that, we're creating time paradoxes now. Um, you got the live-action Star Wars series that George Lucas always wanted to make, but I don't think it might be what he intended it to be. And, yeah, and considering all that, like, I'd be su- I'm surprised this he's making more and more stuff, yet they need to find a way to balance everything out. So... Yeah, I I talked to I talked to two people about this. Uh, one's curious about how this will go. The other one said at first it was interesting, but he didn't really like Game of Thrones, so he's worried about it. I will not mention his name in case Game of Thrones fans try to go ahead and find this guy. So I will not mention him, what who his name was. But yeah, so. Yeah, it's going to be fairly interesting where this goes. Is it going to the Old Republic era? Is it going to tell a whole new tale? Is it going to go straight into the future after Episode Nine, like way beyond it, in order to get a fresh start? If so, that's what George Lucas wanted, and therefore Ryan Johnson's probably going to do that first. Or Ryan Johnson's going to do the kid at the end of Last Jedi to be focusing on as the kids on that planet who might have the Force, and the Game of Thrones creators are going to do something else. I honestly would love if they bring back the Old Republic era, and I would love it if they were the ones in charge, were able to allow to go all out with this in terms of the writing, because a, a scale like that, you would need someone, or you could find the writer of Knights of the Old Republic who wrote all of Kreia's dialogue and everything that why she was written up to be a deconstructor of Star Wars. That would be freaking awesome if they brought him back to help write the Old Republic era again in order to give this line of good and evil not being so defined. So, 
Yeah, so let's hope that when winter arrives for Game of Th for Star Wars, uh, that's, that's going to be pretty freaking awesome. Though this does lead me to question one thing. They had said that they were going to make a new TV show called Confederate, which got a lot of flack considering what happened in Shardsville. And I do not want to talk about that. All I know is that I'm pretty certain there have been a ton of God knows how many movies and books and TV shows that have done an alternative history on slavery still happening today. And, yeah. They're just using what happened in Charlottesville as a key reason why they shouldn't make it, even though there have been tons of even far gruesomer events that would say don't make it, but since we're not politically correct, we you can make it. But that's just my thought on that part. On the Confederacy, on the Confederate show talk, but does that mean the show's canceled or delayed, or are they gonna like do both? Which so that's gonna be creatively exhausting for them. No idea. All I know is that I'm hoping that I'm hoping they're allowed to go all out. Disney lets them say you can go all out. You can make whatever the hell you want. Go all out. Go full R rating. Like we like they got Deadpool soon. If if the government approves of the Disney acquisition thing of Fox, they got all these horror themed movies that Fox is making. They got the Alien series. They might as well embrace the R rating system. So those were my thoughts on the new um, series of Star Wars movies that are coming from the creators of Game of Thrones. Uh, this was Neo Reality Antenna. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate to see for more. And David Benoff, DB Weiss, good luck with what you have.